What's going on there, YouTube? With the drop of Phantom Nightmare, Voiceless Voice is definitely going to be a Tier 1 contender. And I think we're not utilizing an engine that, even in the OCG, you'll see it pop up here and there. So let's talk about it. This is branded Voiceless. So a lot of the times when I was playing Voiceless, I didn't really feel like I needed to go into my extra deck that much. Uh, playing the branded package kind of gives us a little bit more of consistency because Novox doesn't actually have to be used as a ritual material to summon itself back. It's just as long as our Skull Guardian gets summoned while it's in the graveyard. So the branded fusion kind of helps us get that little bit of consistency that the deck feels like it's been lacking. Uh, Droll is going to be super prevalent going into this new format, and I feel like this version kind of gets to dance around that a lot. So let's... uh. Get into the deck profile, and then I'll show you guys some test hands so you guys can see what I'm talking about with the flip. So, first of all, we have three Ash Blossom and three Droll and Lockbird, just to get those hand traps out of the way. And these are probably going to be some of the best hand traps going into the next format. If our opponent's hand is bad enough, Ash is just a turn ender, and Droll is an FTK against some decks. So we have one Cartesia because we are playing the Despian Lulu while Lilith in the extra deck. And then we also have the Dogmatica Maximus because we can add it from our deck to hand or grave to hand with the Nadir Servant. We're not really running any of the other Dogmaticas because it doesn't really feel necessary in a version like this. Uh, next up we have our two Fallen of Albaz just so we can resolve Brand of Fusion more often. Our three Low, three Sephira, one Saravis, uh, a second copy of the Ritual version of Saravis. And two Skull Guardian, as well as one Pendulum Graph. This card is bananas, y'all. Being able to negate a spell card, place this in the column, and then on the end phase, bounce this and get our Ritual spell back is really good. Uh, three Branded Fusion, one Called by the Grave, just a blowout card. Three Nadir Servant, three Pre-Preparation of Rites, three Silent Force uh, Barrier, two Prayer, three Polymerization, and one Authority. For the extra deck, we have three Albion. This is the MVP extra deck card. Uh, and then we have one Quietus, one Garura, one Guilty Gearfreed, one Grand Guignol, one Lubellion, two Mirror Jade, one Mud Dragon, one Titanic Clad, one Chaos Angel, one Lulu Wall Lilith, and one Herald of the Arclight. So with that being said, the deck is super well-rounded. Uh, again, Prosperity just kind of plays into draw this upcoming format, so that's why there's really not a Prosperity. Plus, we also need our extra deck. Uh, super Poly in the main, Super Poly, again, is just one of the best cards in this upcoming format. So let's get into some test hands so you can see. Uh, but before that, uh, just keep in mind the Chaos Angel in most lists, I'm going to say, is mandatory. In this one, not so much. You can probably play another Super Poly target, like uh, Draco Quest, or you can play uh, some kind of branded card maybe another titanic clad if you're feeling like really trying to budget a not budget deck but other than that uh let's get into these test hands so you guys can see what i'm talking about so here is a perfect example of what i'm talking about if you've been play testing the deck at all uh you realize that this right here might just auto lose to droll uh but thanks to brand fusion it's kind of cracked so we're going to go ahead and use the Sephira effect which is going to let us search our deck send the uh, prayer from deck to grave, and add the skull guardian from deck to hand. From here, we're going to go branded fusion, sending off fallen of albaz and low. Then we're going to fusion summon out our albion, use the albion effect to banish itself, and the fallen of albaz. Uh, now, here is, like, a, a cool thing that I noticed as well is if we don't have, like, a monster we can use as a ritual material for the Skull Guardian, we can also just, like, make Titanoclad here or um, usually just the Titanoclad, honestly. Uh, we can just make the Titanoclad here and then use it for the ritual summon and then end phase search for a Dogmatico, which is pretty nice. Uh, but for here, we're just going to go ahead and make the Mirror Jade since we do have the extra material. So... <clears throat> Now, obviously, with Silent Force Barrier, we could have just added low and popped off from there, but I wanted to showcase you guys the uh, branded fusion line here. So we're going to go ahead and use the effect of Sephira, which will banish itself, allowing us to ritual summon. So we're going to go ahead and use the, um, the Pendulum Graph here to ritual summon the Skull Guardian, which is going to activate the effect of our, uh, uh, of our uh, low, and then Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2... Uh, would have been, sorry, Chain Link 1 would have been Skull Guardian to allow us to search. So we'll go ahead and grab uh, this Saravis right here 
and then we'll use the low in a second chain to go and grab the authority since we already do have the barrier which is pretty broken uh, and then from here we can special summon out the Staravius by bouncing back the two spell cards that we used this turn and then uh, this is going to turn into an interruption in the form of being able to uh, bounce itself but the reason we went for authority is because we had to use our pendulum graph so here we can shuffle uh, the pendulum graph back into the deck which is going to allow us to use this uh, silent authority to search for maybe some follow-up uh, in the form of Saphira if we didn't already have it but in the meantime uh, grabbing a, a low for follow-up is also just as good and then we uh, now can we can bounce this on our opponent's turn and summon the pendulum graph so pretty solid, I'd say. We have an Omni Negate, Mirror Jade, and a Spell Negate or an Inherent Summon Negate, depending on what we summon off this Saravis. And then uh, if we activate the Silent Barrier, these guys can't be targeted, and we can even search again to grab like Skull Guardian here so that on our next turn, we're just going to blow them out. So that's definitely one use of Branded Fusion that you can use in this. I really do think Branded Fusion is insane in this deck, so make sure you guys test it if you're in the Voiceless group, and let me know what you guys come up with as well. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and put down some ideas you might have for this new deck in the comments, because it's so much fun to play, y'all. I'm having so much fun with a Ritual deck in 2024 Yu-Gi-Oh! So, if you guys are going to be at the Regional in Chicago on the 10th, make sure you guys stop by and say hi. This is Gores, hopping off.